Alright, got my fret files. This is my straight file. And then uh, the little bit more expensive Stumac curved file. I would recommend uh, spending the extra dough and getting this one because it's fabulous for getting up top. Uh, but I do want to show you both, both techniques, okay? So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take that flat landing on each fret. We're going to start down here and we're going to work our way up. And we're going to just round each side of the fret wire off, okay? I've got a large uh, fret wire, so I'm going to use the large size. Uh, if you can get a used tool for the first time you do these, it, it's great because it's a little bit worn. Uh, it's not as aggressive as a brand new tool, and uh, might be a good idea for the first couple of times to do this so that you don't get too aggressive with the file. Now, hang on to the file, and we're going to rub this right up against that fret wire. You're going to put a little bit of pressure on it. Just run it right across the top of that fret wire. You don't want to concentrate on uh, one section too much. You want to run the whole length of it. You want to put just enough pressure on it so that it doesn't chatter. If it chatters or you start to go like uh, on an angle, uh, you can pretty much gouge the fret wire and you don't want to do that. Okay, now you can use your finger as a guide also. And you can kind of see the scratches. I hope you can see this in the camera. But you can kind of see where the edges scratch. And that's what you want to see. And you want to bring that flat landing to the closest to a point as you can. Okay, and we've got this. I think that's probably pretty good. Uh, again, if you want to uh, keep using that file, that's great. But uh, I want to show you this one because this one works great. It's fast, it's effective. So. Now that we've got that one crowned, we're just going to do the same thing. Use your finger as a guide. And run the length of the fret. Look at it and make sure you're uh, hitting the entire fret. This was a proud fret. This one was sticking up a little bit. Take a little bit more uh, filing to get this. Uh, where we need and you can see too uh, when you're up on this you can kind of see if your landing's getting smaller in areas and where you're kind of hitting uh, you want to kind of try and bring that to a point and if you've hit other areas harder than the other uh, work the file and try and make sure that uh, you're hitting the areas that you need to hit rather than hitting the area you've already hit and going too far. And just take your time, don't add a whole lot of pressure to the tool. And that one looks pretty good. Well, off to the next one. Always just make sure too that you uh, check your file. pretty good here but we got to go towards the center more on the fret we'll work that area a little bit more and you want to make that line as straight as you can this file actually files both sides of the fret wire crowns both sides at once flat on that one yet. I think I'm going to call that one good. It feels pretty good when you run your finger over it. We'll go to the next one.
You just want to wipe it off, get the filings out of the way so that uh, you can see your work a little bit better. That one looks pretty good. We'll go on to the next one. And always just kind of double check, make sure your file stays fairly clean. <clears throat> Next fret. Remember it's good to have good light when you're doing this so you can see your work. Using that 600 grit gave us a nice a uh, little bit of a shine on the top so that we can actually see where we're grinding because we're kind of going across the grain of what we just did. That's got a nice round to it. Off to the next one. I like this file because the, uh, the curved edge really, really just makes it uh, a lot simpler because you're, you're your fret wire's got a radius to it with the with the shape of the neck. And, uh, it's going to make it a lot easier when we get up towards the body that we're not going to scratch the body or have any issues. Get right over here a little bit near the edge. Good to go. We'll go to the next one. Now, if you don't think he's exactly perfect, that's okay because when we're done here, we're going to go and polish these frets up. Uh, and the more that you do this, the uh, easier it'll become and you'll get a better, uh, perfect land out of this. And uh, you'll get the, once you get the hang of it and you do a couple of necks, uh, it really will make your guitar really perform well. And, uh, you know, you got to build a little bit of technique with this. And again, when you're doing this, try not to be too aggressive. You can always take material off, you can't put it back. Next. Remember to keep cleaning your file out. And on to the next one. You want to make sure too that when you're doing this that you don't jump off and hit another fret and put a ding into it. You can use your finger as a guide. I've done a few of these and uh, I'm fairly comfortable with what I have to do but again you can always put your finger right there just to guide it. And again, don't be too aggressive. A little bit right down the middle there, and I think I'm going to call that one done. And on to the next one. Scratch marks to tell the story on where that uh, where that land is. And again, if it's not exactly perfect, um, we're going to hide all these scratches by polishing up the frets. It's just to make this uh, look a little bit better and actually feel better when you're playing it. 
It's one of these things you want to get the fret as round as you, you possibly can. But you don't want to go too far where you actually start taking off the top of the fret because then you lose your level. And we did a lot of uh, a lot of sanding, a lot of elbow grease to get these frets leveled properly. Uh, when you get into this stage, the last thing you want to do is have to start over, so you've got to be very careful. And again, just keep checking the land, keep watch your scratches, look for areas that you've kind of missed or uh, avoid areas on the fret wire that you've already hit really good and you think look good. Because again, we can always take material off, we can't put it back on. And I do have to give props to Stu Mac. They make a lot of great tools. Uh, you can buy guitar components through them too. They're, they're a good company. Uh, the tools are, are just incredible. Okay, that one's looking pretty good. I got one little spot here I'm going to deal with and I'll go on to the next fret. one and to the next one Kind of feel my uh, files getting a little bit dirty. That one's okay. Hit it right here a little bit. And right here too, if I was using that flat file, I'd be having a very hard time getting past the, uh, the body. This allows me to lift it up, keeps my hand out of the way, keeps good contact with the fret wire and the file. That's why I would recommend this file. It works really well. Okay, last fret. Okay, let's wipe this down and get all that, uh, the filings off. You'd rather have that in the rag than sitting on the fretboard because what we're about to do is polish the frets and we want to get all those heavier pieces off of there. So I think I'm going to regroup here, uh, get my micro mesh ready and then we'll uh, polish those frets up to a beautiful shine.